And welcome back to Racing, Pacing, Chasing. We're here now joined by our special guest tonight on the racing segment, none other than Paul Bashar. Welcome, Paul. How are you? Well, thank you. Thanks for joining us tonight. And, My pleasure. Uh, firstly, we've got to kick off. We've got a very, um, obviously, Rocky's close mate. You're a brother of yours as well. But uh, you're the little known brother of the uh, harness racing, you could say, trainer, driver, professional punter, that's what he calls himself these days. John, Jack, Jack, Jack John Bashara. Jumping Jack. What's it like living in the shadows of Jumping Jack? Oh, he's so famous. He's famous. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, he's all right, he's a good bloke. <laughs> good bloke? Yeah. Not the other way around, is it? What's that? The no, good? no, he's, he's, he's good. He's, uh, he's had a very successful career. <laughs> who, sh who shouts at the mill on Tuesday mornings, mate? Me. <laughs> <What a thought. laughs> anyway, Paul, uh, obviously um, well known as the trainer of multiple group winning Happy Trails, and um, we'll talk a little bit about that journey tonight and, and um, the story behind his purchase, the price you paid, and you know what um, what was it about that chestnut by a good journey that you did once like and maybe let's kick off with that because yeah. that's why you're here tonight to, to probably talk about your yeah. career and, and you know let's kick off with happy trails what a story that is well it started off i had a, a mare called hurricane dance i was trained horses for peter and erica dickman uh, uh, my best clients and um after the mayor retired we, they wanted to put it a stud so we chose good journey because, you know, really for a private, he was a private stallion, he had a lot of winners and he had group one uh, success with Sound Journey and that. So we went there. That was in September and then March, the yearling sales were in Adelaide. So we went down, I had to buy three horses. So um, looked at uh, this one by Good Journey out of Madame Flurry. Beautiful, striking chestnut. And uh, said to Eric, I said, we'll buy this. and. We put, I won't say how much, but we, we put a figure on the horse that we would go up to, which was quite a lot, much more than what we got him for. But when he came in the sale ring, um, there wasn't one bid, not a bid. So then they, oh. they opened the bidding for the vendor's bid of $10,000. So I bid 1000 and uh, sold 11000 So I said, here we go. we better go back and make sure this horse has got four legs. Because <laughs> you know, there's just no one was interested in it. And we went back and looked at him and he was just, he was striking. We couldn't see a thing wrong with him. Um, I sent the three horses to Will Clark and at the time he was break, colt breaking at Performance Park. And uh, about a fortnight later he rang me up and he said, this is the best horse I've ever broken in my life. He said, he's an absolute <laughs> natural. And from then on, everyone that rode him work would come in and say, this is a natural, he's just such a good horse. And that was, that's how it went. You took him to um, Murray Bridge for his second start. First. First start, was it? First start on a heavy track. Yeah. And, but, and then we didn't know that he just couldn't run couldn't on a heavy run, track. Right? He ran third and a very good yeah. third. And then uh, second up, I put him in an open two-year-old at Morfordville. He missed the start by about four lengths and one by two. Damn. And before that, he was called. ringing? Yeah, the phone was ringing. And had you... Had uh, you um, how did you hold your nerve and not take the 500,000, 600,000 that you offered as a very early two year old? Well, it just, that was the first time. When he raced, um, we got offered, uh, I think it was, I think, I forget his name, Pullman from Sydney. He's a buyer for Hong Kong. He rang up and he said, uh, I'll give you 250,000. And I, Peter was there and he said, no. Nah. So I'm lucky because the two owners, the people that own it, are very staunch people and they yeah. they would never let it go you know they love the horse so a half hour later he rang back for 300 then it, by half past five that night he was <laughs> 500 thousand because <laughs> he ran that slashing time yeah and so you know but they said no they just kept saying no and you're talking 2010 was it? yeah that's a lot of money back oh, then oh massive yeah. money and um no they just wouldn't sell so we think originally over time that we eventually went to a million dollars we got they knocked back for him wow, wow. unbelievable and you, so, that journey goes on to 2012 you win your first group one with him uh, with the emirate stakes and yeah that, I mean, that would have been an amazing amazing oh, that was great yeah. that was so great they threw me in the pool at the Crown casino <laughs> <laughs> suit and everything and i was that drunk i didn't care <laughs> It was just a great night. Yeah. And then you went on, you won two more group ones in the Turnbull Stakes and then, you know, the, the McKinnon Stakes as well. At good odds, mind you. The, the Turnbull, 40 yeah. to 1. Yeah. Mm. Jack Tittman, he said. He did. Yeah. 
Dwayne, Dwayne Dunn actually rode the horse on the Tuesday morning uh, at Caulfield, track work, and he came in and he said, there's nothing here can beat you. There's nothing here can beat you. And they dish it up uh, 25 to 1, 30 to 1. I get the races in, he's 40 to 1. And because Poisson's Saloon, who was, yeah, yeah. was said was yeah. the greatest horse in Australia, yeah. he was in the race, so all the rage was for him. So we just thought, well, you know, when Dwayne Dunn says to you, get in, 40 to 1, thank you very much. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, Cox Plate alluded to you, you got a second to the lightly weighted Seamus Award. Yeah, that much. And it was only an inch and a half. Yeah. But he raced in it five times. Five, five straight Cox Places. Yeah. He raced in, yeah. And he actually raced at Mooney Valley seven years straight because as a three year old, he raced in the Red Anchor. Yeah. As a four year old, he went into the Waterford Crystal Mile and then he done the next five Cox Plates. Mm -hmm. So I reckon that's a record in itself. Yeah. yeah. Now, he, he raced 35 times at the elite level. Yeah. Uh, won three and a half million in prize money, or exceeded that. Yeah. <laughs> Retirement day must have been a hard day for you when he retired oh, at nine sad. years of age. It was sad. It was like losing your child. It was yeah. sad. How did you come to that decision, that this was it? You know, obviously at nine, he, what, he, what brought you that day? To well, his last year he raced, he ran last in the Cox Plate that last year, and he just came in and he just had that look, you know, he had that look in his eyes, I've had enough. Uh, so then we put him in the McKinnon, yeah. and when he came in from that, I said, that, that's it. He's done. He's yeah. done, and Erica, she just agreed straight away, yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. So the girl that strapped him, and she wrote all his work, Chelsea, in Melbourne, we gave him to her, and um, then I said to Chelsea, "Don't ever spell this horse at your mum's place because the mother's got a property because she really loved the horse." Yeah. So when Chelsea spelled the horse there, the mother confiscated gave the horse, and now it's doing equestrian and dressage, <laughs> and you name it. It's just the most so is it going well, isn't it? Oh yeah. Good, yeah. But it's just spoiled. She spoils it. Mm. You know, if you could walk in the house, it would. <laughs> it's just, but it's a it's a people's horse. It yeah. loves people. Yeah. But before we move on to what, what's Paul Bashar doing now, let's just take a look at the replay of um, the Happy Trials in the 2012 Emirates Stakes. <laughs> just drop that in there and we'll get back to it. All yeah. right, so, right. Very special day, the Emirates oh, Stakes, yeah. one of the um, you know, many highlights on his career. What was the biggest for you? I think when he won the Turnbull. Yeah. Um, also, oh, yeah, they're all good. Um, that was my first group one was the Emirates, so. That was really good, and it's only I'm the only bloke ever give uh, Ollie a hug up on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> he won twice. He won. The, he won the McKinnon. Yeah. He said to me after the McKinnon, he said we were just going to win effortlessly, and he said I loomed up on the outside of uh, He's Your Man with Joe Moreira, and he said, he said I don't know what that Moreira's got, but he just kept the horse going. He said we just couldn't get past it. He said we just got it on the line, yeah. and he said by jeezy. He is magic yeah. hands. Those good jockeys can get the best out of them, can't they? Yeah. Oh, I knew yeah. Happy Trails had a habit of uh, not winning by much and not no. getting beaten by much, mate. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Now, yeah. other than drinking beer like we're doing on Seti tonight, what is, uh, what's Paul Bashara doing these days? Oh, I just um, I went for a world cruise. I had an accident, one of the horses kicked me in both shoulders, and um, then I had to have an operation, so that was the end of the training days. Um, I went on a world cruise, we bought a new caravan and we got, had the four, got the four wheel drive all brand new so we went round Australia twice. Went on a world cruise, over th three months but that was, you know, I wouldn't go on one of them again, it's just too long. I couldn't get off, couldn't <laughs> get a bet, no tab on me. <laughs> <laughs> Punk club would have found a way for him. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little lash in the casino but, you know, it's, Pretty hard in there, uh, so I just go down to visit people down the track, potter around, yeah. Uh, go around Jack, see him, have a coffee with him. Rocky's coming next Tuesday morning and have a coffee. Only if I bring the finger buns. Don't bring you, the mate? finger yeah. buns, and you might have to shout. Might have to. Yeah, shout the this cafe as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's no, good. Any interest in horse? Like you got sh any shares? No, or, you know, you're, no. you're out there. You just watch from afar. I watch from afar. Oh, you know, eventually one day I might sort of have another go. I, I've always had success with them, so yeah. You what know. about your owners, Paul? That 
loved having their horses with you, the Dickens. Are they still involved at all? Or they yeah, the no, well? they've got a share. We, we had a horse called Alana June by Mossman, and they bred with a woman called Lynette Day. They bred a, a, a horse by Good Journey out of her, yeah. and uh, they're going to have a go with that. Okay. So they'll be 50 50 in that, and they'll yeah. have a go with that. Oh, good. Yeah. So we'll see what happens there. It's certainly been an, an exciting journey, and probably still not over if uh, you know you just heard it there that he's, he may tip his toe back in it one mm. day again. Well, so we look forward to that day. Seven years, the best seven years of my life. You know, you just yeah. <laughs> you could not imagine the limelight and the the people that would just come up to you in the streets of Melbourne, Sydney. Happy trails. They'd say, "How's Roy? How's Roy? How's Roy?" <laughs> yeah. You know, when you'd saddle up, it was um, Chris Waller saddling Winks up, 10 stalls down, there's 50 people in front of Happy Trails watching me saddle him up. Yeah. You know, because they just loved him. He was... Yeah. That's saying, because that's like the jump through, I'm sorry, in the pool the, at the casino the other week. That's what they were saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They all knew from that day too. Oh, yeah. And well, you're going to become a regular with us every fortnight now? Yeah, that would yeah, good. be lovely. Story be time from now on though, mate. No serious stuff? No serious stuff? No. Tell the story not about much, it. when I was swimming right. happy trails. Yeah, yeah go on, tell, it, tell, <laughs> tell us now before we go. I was down the beach swimming happy trails. And when you swim a horse, you get around, get in front of it, right? So you hang on to the bridle, put your feet up on his chest, and he's just pushing you along. And these people are like, sure, they're waving and waving. And I'm looking around, and he starts snorting. And next minute, this bloody dolphin come out the water that close, and he just comes straight out the water. And all I see was this dorsal fin come down. The <laughs> well, the heart stopped. I, I couldn't hold on to the reins, and the horse is headed back in shore. So I've grabbed his tail, and he's dragged me <laughs> like in. Like a jet ski. Yeah, in I've gone. He's got in, as he's getting into more shallow water, he's getting up better speed. And I'm still hanging on there. There's a big trail of brown oh, behind man. me. That was your happy trails. Oh, there, mate, right? my happy trails was, like I said, there's a big trail of brown <laughs> behind me. The shark, if it was a shark, it would have died. <laughs> And thank God, I got, he stopped. He just stopped at the edge of the water. Yeah. And I just, I couldn't even get up. <laughs> I was that, I was that stuff. You wouldn't have wanted to, would you? Oh, on the beach. no. And he just stood there. Oh, thank God for that. He was worried about you. He was just taking him back to shore, I think. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon. Yeah, just, <laughs> oh, got out the bloody harbour. Oh, well, terrible. that's a pretty good way to uh, end the, uh, yeah. the segment, but I tell you what, <laughs> that gives a bit of a taste for what we've got in store in the, uh, after in the more, new year. In the more. Year. You're going to join us in the new year, and uh, we'll, we'll have a short recess over the Christmas break, but we look forward to uh, you joining us more on a more regular basis. There's plenty more of those stories, I'm sure. Heaps of them. Heaps. Yeah. Good on you, mate. All right. Thanks for joining us, and Thank uh, you. enjoy the Thank beer, you. and we'll be back after right. with the uh, pacing segment of Cheers. Racing, Pacing, Chasing. <laughs>